period is divided into jams, which can last up to two minutes each. Each team has five players on the track. Four players from each team line up at the front of the track. These players make up the pack. The two players at the front of the pack are called the pivots. Each team's pivot wears a striped helmet cover. The pivots are the leaders of the pack, and they set the pace of the pack, rally their teammates, and are the last line of defense against the opposing team's jammer. The remaining players in the pack are the blockers. The blockers assist their jammer and defend against the opposing jammer with hip checks, hard hits, and agile moves. The pack begins skating when the first whistle blows. Lining up behind the pack are the all-important jammers. These lightning fast skaters sport stars on their helmets. When that second whistle blows, the jammers try to skate their way through the pack and out the other side. The first jammer to legally pass the pack is declared the lead jammer. Once the jammers have made their way through the pack the first time, they're ready to begin scoring. Jammers earn one point every time they legally pass a member of the opposing team. The lead jammer may call off the jam at any time by placing her hands on her hips. If there is no lead jammer, the jam ends after two minutes. Now here's where it gets interesting, ladies and gentlemen, because there are plenty of illegal moves in roller derby that can earn a player a trip to the penalty box. So what is illegal in roller derby? Blocking with the elbows, hands, or heads, tripping, back blocking, and passing out of bounds. Any roller girl who receives a major penalty will earn a one-minute trip to the penalty box. Ladies and gentlemen, now that you know the basics, let's play some roller!